first thing, make sure you have a purpose. What is your purpose for wanting to be a nomad? You want to try to get out of debt? Do you tired of paying for mortgages? Do you just not want to own a house? Do you want to be free? Do you want to see all the national parks? Just have a purpose. What is your reasoning for wanting to be a nomad? Next, make sure that you always do a trial run. Whatever vehicle you have, just take it out for 10 days, sleep in it, live in it, see how it works. See if you actually like doing it. Some people make it look really fancy and glamorous online, but sometimes people can't handle it. So make sure you Another good idea is when you're doing your trial run, try to make a budget and see how much money you're going to spend. Therefore, you know exactly how much money you're going to be spending when you actually are on the road. If your trial run goes good, then you can start saving up for your actual nomadic lifestyle. This way. Now you got to figure out how you're going to pay for it. Do you want to be free for the whole year so you have to work a year in advance to save up enough money? Or do you want to just work for like six months and then take six months off and travel? Or do you want to work intermediate in between? You have to figure out how you're going to afford it. And that goes along with your budget. Once you figure out your budget, you can kind of figure out how much you're going to spend in a given year. Next good thing to think about, do you want to be full-time or part-time? Big difference. Part-time, you're probably going to keep a lot of your stuff and still have a house. Full-time, are you going to sell your house? Are you going to keep all your stuff? Are you going to put it in storage? If you're going to put it in storage, how are you still paying for those bills? Keep that in mind. Next up, figure out what kind of nomad do you want to be? Do you want to be a nomadic traveler and actually travel with the weather and go north in the summer and south in the winter? Or do you want to stay sedentary in one area? Do you want to spend more time in the city or do you want to spend more time in nature? Makes a big difference in the long run. It goes along with the next thing is what type of vehicle do you want to be in? Do you want to stick with the vehicle you have now? Or do you want to research and figure out what type of vehicle you're going to need? Because if you're going to stay in one spot for a while, you probably want something a little bigger so you have better air conditioning. But you, then if you're going to stay in the city, do you, don't, you don't need four-wheel drive, so you can probably have something a little simpler. But if you want to be in nature, you probably have to have four-wheel drive in order to get off the road. Good things to keep in mind. So now, if you made it through all that and you're still excited about being a nomad, you can go get your vehicle that you're interested in and do another trial run and see exactly what you're going to need on the road. Don't just go out and copy everybody else because some of their ideas aren't that great. They look good, but they're not practical for actual living on the road. So... Make sure you go out, do a little trial, bring with it what you think you need, and again, keep your budget so you know exactly how much you're spending. Hope you guys found that video handy. If you liked it and it helped you out, click that like button, help us out, and as always, click subscribe to see more videos on how to become a nomadic traveler. Bye guys. Make sure you save up. Now you gotta figure out how you're gonna pay for it. Now you gotta figure out how you're gonna pay for it. Now you got to figure out how you're going to pay for it. Next, figure out how you're going to afford it. Next, figure out how you're going to afford it. You takes a... Damn it. Are you going to just... Blah, 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 blah. You can handle it. And then what... Makes a, that makes a big difference. After you figure out all of those, now you can do another trial run with your vehicle that you are that you have. Now, if you fixed out all those glitches, now if you got past all of those, then you can go buy your vehicle that you're interested in. And so, hopefully, those tips helped you if you're looking at becoming a nomad. So hopefully those tips helped you out if you're looking at becoming a nomad and got you on the right path. If you like this video, if it helped you out, you know, click the like button, help us out a little bit, and make sure to subscribe for more videos.